Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Kolodzi. I'm Director of Operations and Product Development here at Digitech. And what I want everyone to understand is the amount of time we spent developing this system over the last few years. So we started off basically as a service company 11 years ago. So we really have a good handle on what customers and what service experience is like. So every part that we pick out is from years of experience. We've tested it multiple times. Every valve, every sensor, everything is easy, accessible. We bring it in house, we test them, and we make sure that they're of the highest quality. I think what makes, uh, what people don't understand about Digitech is that we do everything here, which sets us apart. We have our own uh, ability to uh, design electric boards. And some of the people we have working here that design the boards or write the software or have a lot of experience with that. And boards that would take nine months to make in the past, uh, we can get those new boards developed in a month. So in a rare event that you need a part or uh, something breaks on the machine, we have all the parts in stock and in-house. Uh, they don't have to come from overseas. They're not made in China. They're all, uh, they're all here and they're all tested and they're all ready to go. They can be on a plane or shipped out next day here. Uh, you have them tomorrow. Now let's go talk to some of the people that make it happen. Get a little sneak preview into what it takes to make the best possible printer. This is our uh, True Fire printer. This is actually the uh, True Fire LTX2. Uh, our most productive printer uh, that we have ever, ever made currently. I'm going to go over some of the aspects that make it uniquely different from the rest of the world. Um, first, we start out with the uh, most durable table. You can walk on this table, you can adjust this table. Um, it'll never get a flat spot, which is really, really important to lay the dot down uh, correctly as far as landing in the right spot. You want to make sure you have as flat of a surface as possible. The other aspect that's really important to lay that dot down very accurately, we call our system uh, precision printing. And uh, we really want the dot to lay down faster because it's a higher quality, but it also gives you uh, more throughput. You can lay the dot down where you want it to go down. You can print faster. You can have a better print quality. And, and it's a printer that's gonna last you a lot longer when it's made. So we start out by putting uh, linear motor systems on both sides of this very durable flat table and accompany them with uh, an encoder that's actually built into the rail. Um, that gives us uh, less maintenance um, and it gives us a non-wearable item where we don't want people to constantly have to replace encoders or have damaged encoders. The only way to damage this encoder and this rail is, might be to run a forklift into it or something. So we put this system on both sides of the Y. We read both sides. They can't be off. If they're off, then it would go into error. So it's gonna have a perfect, precise dot placement every time. We put it on the bridge too. You watch, as far as the bridge and the, and the, the carriage goes, this would be the carriage. So we have, we have the linear motor system here and we have the encoder built into there. So the difference between this linear motor and some of the open face linear motors you see that our competitors use is that we're not putting the pressure on the bearing blocks. The magnets are actually on both sides. It costs a little bit more, but what you get is you get less pressure on your bearings, which means your bearings are going to last a lot longer because they're, they're, they're riding smoothly. One of our big competitive advantages is that we are able to control the design of our electronics completely in-house. And uh, that lets us do some things that our competitors can't. Uh, for example, we developed our own sensing solution uh, to monitor the level of ink in these tanks and to ensure that we have a continuous, reliable uh, ink supply down to the heads. Uh, so not only is the system more reliable, but it's also more serviceable because we're able to design things exactly the way that we want. Uh, for example, you can remove any one of these uh, reservoir lids without even removing the electronics on top of them. That's something that wouldn't be possible if we were stuck uh, with what a vendor could provide us. Uh, our, uh, the custom electronics that we've designed uh, are on many different places in the machine. For example, uh, this is our head I.O. module right here. 
This board brings together about 18 different uh, sensors, actuators, and other outputs that we have to control. And what it does is it really just optimizes the connectivity in the machine, and it makes it really easy to service. So there are always problems uh, in any machine, and uh, when, when issues happen, a technician can easily look at, uh, can easily look at this module and uh, troubleshoot what's connected, troubleshoot what's talking. Uh, and so it, uh, that translates to more uptime, faster repairs and more uptime for our customers. The ink delivery system, um, as I said before, is very important on a printer. Um, ours is very, very good. We're very proud of it. Um, the ink rides along with the carriage, so when the, when the bridge moves, the ink moves, so we get a little bit of uh, a little agitation, which is always good for the ink. Keeps it nice and uh, keeps it nice and fresh. Um, professionalism of the build. Just looking around the printer, and how it looks. Very important for us to have everything nice and organized. This is important if we, if uh, because we we do so much of our service um, by team viewing or remotely um, to get the customer up quickly. We made a very simple design using the latest technology available and um, we're pretty proud of that. All right, now that we've gone over the mechanics of the printer, um, let's go over and let's take a look at, at the uh, software, um, specifically the user interface. This is an important part, you know, I want to just kind of bounce through um, what it takes to get a print going. So in the morning um, or in between jobs, you can do simple things like an auto guy. You go out and read the material. Um, you can have your jobs all set up over here. You can have presets for the material. Um, you can also have presets for for everything else to get going fast and, and efficiently. Um, we go through what foam board, coarse blast, styrene. You can list as many as you want. Um, you can do layers. You can do white. You can do color. You can do color white color. You can do. Uh, five layers, 10 layers, 15 layers, whatever uh, amount of layers you want to do. But just as far as just to show you how easy it is to use the printer, um, pull in a file and go to the mode or pick on a job, say you do this job. Um, this is the mode you want to use. That's the resolution and push print. And the printer will, um, you know, it's ready to go at that point. One thing about research and development here is that it never stops. We're continually listening to customers. We're uh, continually getting their feedback. And uh, we're always trying to improve uh, and think of better ways to, to make it faster, stronger, and safer. Uh, one example of that would be recently we had a customer who uh, had an operator that made a mistake and ruined some print heads. When we sat down and listened to the story, we realized uh, we have the ability to keep that from happening again. Uh, we sat as a team figured out what, what we needed to do and wrote software to keep that from ever happening again. The next software release had an update and uh, that will never happen again. And that's just one way we're always working to improve our machine, improve customer's productivity and uh, make it an overall better product. What I like the best about Digitech is the interaction that we have with the customers, especially, uh, you know, that's my forte. Um, a lot of our customers end up being very close friends. They, um, um, you know, we have a lot of fun together. That's one of the reasons why we like to bring people here as well, is to, to come to San Antonio and watch something, especially a printer, you know, it, it's, it's a, there's a lot more to it as far as building it and to see everything. I mean, you can't go to HP, you can't go to EFI, you can't go to AGFA, you can't go to Durst and see really how it's all put together. But at Digitech, you can fly into San Antonio, you can come visit, you can see every aspect of how the printer goes together. You can see the quality of the build. You can, you can just get everything you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable about um, what the printer is, how it's made, and the R&D that went into uh, making it the best possible printer.